Hi everyone. In this session, we'll learn what are batch update sets and what are the uses of them. So batch update sets are uh, help you to make a group of update sets combined together and you can preview and commit them in a single click. And these batch update sets maintain a parent chain relationship. So today we'll learn how to create a batch update set and how to preview and commit that. So let's take an example in this environment. Uh, as well, this is a developer environment. Let's navigate to local update sets. Let's create three update sets. So as I have mentioned, batch update sets means a group of update sets. So here we are taking three update sets as a demo. So let's take name it as batch update set parent. As I said earlier, batch update sets maintain parent and child relationship. As you can see here, there is a field called parent. So we'll use it later after configuring all this. So batch update set parent will behave as a parent here. And let's create a couple of instant uh, update sets more. Let's name it as child one. And here under parent, you can give the batch update set parent so that this child will become a child update set to the parent and that parent update set will become as a batch update set okay so let's submit and we'll create one more naming it as batch update set pay child two okay and same here you have to give parent and just submit As you can see now, here the batch update set parent is a batch update set, and batch update set child one and child two will be behaves as a child update set, and these three combines and makes it as a batch update set. Okay, here you can see batch base, the batch update set parent, and the parent is batch update set parent for the couple of update sets which are childs. Okay, so now let's make parent as a current update set here. As you can see, it is already set, so we'll make some changes to the system and capture some updates to the parent. And let's check how it is working while importing or exporting. Okay, let's navigate to incident table. I'm taking incident table as an example for the parent table, parent update set. So I just want to create a client script. So just navigate to client scripts under incident table and create a client script. Here I'm just naming as a batch update set demo. Okay, so type is on load. So on loading, I just want to alert a message that this is a batch update set demo. Okay, so just save this. And go back to the uh, update set picker and select child one as a current update set. Batch update set child one as a current update set. And let's capture something else in another table. I'm taking problem example, problem uh, table as an example here. So just navigate to problem table and just I am writing a business rule on the problem table. So navigate to business rules. Let's create a new business rule. Name it as per your use case. So I'm naming it as batch update set demo. And just mark advanced so that you can script here. And I just want to make a display business rule. So I just want to display info message. So for that, I need to write gs dot add info message this is a batch that's a demo okay so just submit this and it will be saved under child one and let's go back to the update picker and capture a new update in child two okay so we are using all the three updates sets here to make some changes and capture so here i'm using change request table 
So let's navigate to change table. Let's pick a normal change here. Just pick a normal change. And I would like to use a onload client script again. So as it is a demo, just using the basic ones. So I'm using onload client script again. So just create a new onload script on the change table. So whenever the form is loaded, this I'm using the onload and I'm writing an alert. So it should display patch update set demo. Okay. So I'm just using an onload client script here and I'm alerting a message, the same message which I have used in incidental problem. This is a batch updater demo. Okay, so just submit this. Now go back to the update set table, and here you can see when you open the batch update set parent, you have captured one update here that is a client script written on incident table. And under update sets in batch, you can see here we have three, which means the parent itself and the child one and the child two okay here you can see the under related table is there that is child update sets table here you can see batch updates set child one and the child two okay when you check these there will be one one update in the both tables in the both update sets the child one contains a business role which is written on problem table and the child two contains client script which is written on change request table okay so now what will happen is when i mark this parent as complete to export it to the another environment, which may be a production or UAT. So here you can see, once we want to complete that, there will be a message shown. This will complete all update sets in the batch, continue changing state to yes. As you can see, when you click yes, all this will be marked to complete state. Why? Because it is a batch update set. So once you save this, as you can see, it is completed and the tails also. See, here you can see the tails also closed, completed as well. Now, just go to the other environment. Where is the remote instance is configured? Here it is production environment and the demo production environment. So I'm just navigating to update sources. So just open it. And see, here it is already configured in our previous sessions. Just click retrieved update sets. Okay. So once it is retrieved, you can see when we retrieved normal update sets, it was went to retrieve update sets. But as it is a batch update set, it is retrieved to remote batch update sets. Okay. Here you can see the batch update set. Now it is already previewed as we have discussed in earlier sessions. So once you commit update set, its preview is already done for all the three. As you can see here, see here the state is previewed, previewed. Okay. Once you click commit update set batch, all the three updates will be applied in the instance, the target instance, okay? So let's check, see, the update set batch was committed, okay? So let's check what are the changes has been occurred in the system. First, we have written a client script on incident table, so we need to navigate to incident and check. So just navigate to incident table. Just open any random incident to check the alert message. So we need to get alert message here. See, this is a batch update set demo, okay? Then we have written a business rule on problem table for child one. So just navigate to problem table and just check, open any random problem here. And just check whether the business rule is working or not. See, here is the business rule, the display business rule. This is a batch update set demo. As well as we have used a child two to alert a message on change request. So just navigate to change request and open any change record. Okay, so just open a change record. And here we need to get the alert message. See, here we got the alert message. So this way on any table, on any application, you can maintain these batch of sets to move in a bulk and you can commit them based on your use cases. So we'll learn more use cases on how moving batch update sets and what type of efforts may occur in our upcoming sessions. So keep watching. Thank you.